All right, friends, this is 2.7 absolute values um, in the old book. Um, I definitely want to cover this because this is something that was kind of touched on in Algebra 1, but I want to definitely make sure you understand this graph. Okay. So one of the first things we always do is graph um, or make note of what the parent function looks like. Okay. And if you remember from Algebra 1, um, when doing absolute values, um, we come up with two scenarios um, where you have a north and a south direction, if you remember. Um, and it's usually, it, it's, it has a center and then you can go either way. So let me, let me show you what I mean. Okay, is, let's see, the absolute value of x um, equals 5 means that x can be 5 or x could actually be a negative 5 because I put the absolute value in here. It's always 5. So I like to say in the center here, this is 0, right? 5 this way or 5 this this way. Okay. So when you're graphing, it only makes sense that the parent graph of the absolute value function is symmetric on both sides. Okay. So our center is at zero, zero. Okay. And the absolute value of one is one. The absolute value of two is two. And what you do to one side, you do to the other because the absolute value of a negative one is one. The absolute value of a negative 2 is 2. And so these form Vs. Okay? So pretty easy. If we think about domain and range, okay, your domain would be all real numbers because it goes forever this way. And then your range value would be zero and above. Okay, so now what we want to look at is really um, translating. Okay, so using what we know on our, okay, notice that our slope here is one as it comes up. That's because there's a one right there in the front. Okay, so we really want to talk about, all right, what do we do when we start manipulating um, manipulating these graphs, okay? So what happens when you do that? Okay, well, if you stop and think about that, okay, a two out front, this is going to be a stretch or shrink, okay? Instead of it being a slope of one, now we're a slope of two. So I still am starting at zero, zero, except now my slope is two over one. I'm gonna go up two over one. And what I do to one side, I do on the other because I am symmetric. I'm going to stay on the same graph, but now I'm going to show you a shrink. Okay, so I'm going to do one half. So this is the shrink. So instead of a slope of one, I go up one over two, up one over two. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So see how it's much wider, isn't it? So we could also say instead of stretch or shrink, um, stretch would be narrow and shrink would be wide. I think those are the terms they use instead of stretch and shrink, okay? So you're changing really the slope of the line, are we? Okay, so now we need to work on translating. What do we do about translating? 
And what we mean by translating is how do you move it left, right, up, or down? Well, we we manipulate it. We use the formula um, y is equal to x minus h plus k, where h is going to be your movement left or right, and k is up or down. Now, are you ready for this? This is going to be the opposite. Here's why. If you were to solve for x, you'd put a zero over here. You'd have to move whatever numbers were over here, okay? You always have to do the opposite. So this is going to be the opposite of what you see. So if you see a negative, you're really moving towards the right. If you see a positive, you're really moving towards the left. But for up and down, what you see is what you get. So, so don't switch it. Okay. So let's do let's do um, a translation. Y is equal to x minus one plus three. Okay. Again, we're not plugging these into our calculator. We know we can do this. So what does this mean? Well, this is one to the right. And this is three up. So we were at zero, zero, right? If you think about up here, we were at zero, zero. Go one to the right and three up. One, two, three. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you've tra translated. Now, what's my slope? Well, my slope's one. Well, that's easy. Up one, over one. Up one, over one. That's it. All you've done is moved it up and over. That's not so bad, is it? All right, how about this one? All right, y is equal to one third Absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1. All right, so start right here. Plus 1 means the opposite. So 2 to the left, 2 left. 1, negative 1, what you see is what you get. That's 1 down. Okay? And then this is my slope. Okay, I'm going to draw this in red. So I, wa I was at 0, 0, wasn't I? So I want to go 2 to the left and one down. That's my new vertex. That's my new center. And now let's do our slope of one third. Up one over one, two, three. Up one over one, two, three. Draw your V. That's it, friends. See, it's really not that bad. Okay. I want to do one more um, and I want to combine um, one more thing. Okay. Y is equal to a negative three absolute value X minus two plus four. Okay. You ready? All right. What does this mean? Minus two. Oh, that's two to the right. Plus four. That's up four. And this is my slope. Mm. So, wow, is that negative? So, I wonder what that negative is going to do to my V. Instead of pointing up, it's going to point down. You're absolutely right. So remember, I'm starting at zero, zero, right? That's what my parent function. So I want to go two to the right and up four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's my vertex. So now do the slope. Down three over one. One, two, three over one. One, two, three over one. Awesome. Done. See, not so hard. 
All right. So need the vertex, okay, of this. Are you ready? Okay, so let's think about, let's look at the translation. Where am I going? Two to the left, okay? So it's two to the left from zero, zero, right? If I did a makeshift graph here, two to the left and one down. So two to the left, one down. So what's my new vertex? Well, that's easy. Negative two, negative one. Done. Okay. Now, if I asked you to write the equation for the absolute value, and I gave you the graph, the first thing I'm going to do is do y equals, I'm gonna leave a space and I'm gonna go x, okay? So how do I write, what's this vertex? This is one, one. How do I write one in here? You're right, I would write a minus one. How would I write one out here? Well, that's just a plus one. And what's the slope? Let's count. One, two over one, two over one, done. Okay, so it's all about V's. Thanks.